Hi, this is Manuel Delta Lima 2, Mike Alpha November. Welcome back to my channel. And this is the promised uh, bike setup video um, where I show you my equipment for yeah, ultra lightweight, ultra portable stuff. That was inspired actually by Josh uh, and his, uh, I think it was one, one pound POTA. Um, I have no interest in doing uh, digi modes, but I used some ideas that Adam K6ARK was showing uh, with his setup for mine more later. Um, I even have a QRP Labs QMX with me. This is actually going to be the first time I'm testing that thing ever. And before we get confused here, last time I said this was my e-bike and I understand that this is a little bit misleading because e-bike means something different the rest of the world than it does here. The official term for that is paddy leg. Um, that's a combination of pedal and electric, which means this is legally considered in Germany a bicycle, um, meaning you can use all the bicycle lanes. You don't need a driver's license for that. Um, no insurance needed. So technically this is a bicycle, but it comes with electrical support. Here's the battery, here's a motor, but it only works if you pedal, you know, that's the thing here. Why do I have that? Uh, why do I need that? Because I'm surrounded by hills, mountains, and uh, if I would use a, a normal bicycle, I would need an oxygen tent uh, when I'm on the top of the next hill. And this helps me to basically use something like that. It's part of my, my trying to stay or be or become fit again, and trying to drop weight uh, agenda. And actually this is so much fun, so that I'm actually using it opposite to a bicycle, a normal bicycle that would require me to torture myself. Well, this is not torture, this is fun. Okay, I'm driving to my activation point and then I'm going to show you the funny details. Okay guys, I think I've reached my destination. Uh, this is behind me. This is the peak cross of Münchshofner Berg. Um, a very high point. And if you look around, you can see very, very far. Let me give you a pan here. That was a 360 and yeah, look at that. That's some radio stuff up there. I think that's a, a professional relay for professional, uh, they are like police and emergency and fire department and stuff like that. But for now, I'm going to set up, hopefully, Everything's fine. I have that little bench here. Oh, ah, it doesn't look too stable. Let me see. Ah. <laughs> Not too confident. Not too confident. Yeah, let's see what we're going to do here. Okay, first things first. It's time to show you my TrueSDX bike kit. Um, yeah, that is a pole. I think I showed you in the video where I did some experimentation with, uh, I think it's called Entfed Halfway Revisited. I will put you a link in the upper right corner. This is the first time I used that pole. Um, it's very light, very um, compact, and it's just so that I have something to erect the antenna in case I don't find something like this cross here or no tree or whatever, or if I simply do not want to use that cross, for example. Now, what's inside? Uh, the name is a little bit misleading. Usually it's only TrueSDX uh, with accessories, but I brought something with me. This is the QRP Labs QMX transceiver. A little bit more on that later. 
I have a second transceiver with me. Actually, the first one. It's a True STX. It's a classic bands True STX with uh, 80, 40, 20, 15, 10 meters. I have a matching antenna that has 40, 20, 15, 10. That's NFET half wave with a little bit of smaller wire. I have my battery with me. I'm going to show you that as well in a minute. No, I'm going to show it right now. Um, that was an idea of K6 ARK. Uh, he used that uh, drone, drone battery thingy. The problem is those lithium batteries are very sensitive to, to touch, drop, um, being hurt. So I designed and printed that uh, outer skeleton so it at least can drop a little bit uh, without burning. <laughs> they are dangerous. We have the highest respect for that. Yeah, and two adapter cables, one for the TrueSTX and one for the QMX as well as the ICOM. ICOM can be used as well with that. Okay. Then, accessory pack, microphone, paddle, adapter, cable, headphone, coax cable, a few stakes, a pencil, a little bit of extra rope, lock, and a copy of my license. In case somebody starts asking questions what I'm doing here, <coughs> and <laughs> in this day and age, uh, I think people would assume that that I'm sending messages to the class enemy, uh, especially in a public place like this. So it's always good if you have your license. Let's talk about the antenna setup. Here is one end. This is the UNUN the transformer going up to the pole, going down there, maybe you can see it back there, is the orange uh, spool holder. And the third leg is just a rope. This is the third point. This is a little bit inverted V. And the third one is just stabilizing the pole. So with two legs and one rope and a very small mast pole, I set up an antenna and I can set it up everywhere, not just here. Yeah, if you look back there, it doesn't look good, the weather, and the same is here. We have uh, bad weather announced. I hope it will hold up. I hope I don't get wet. Let's do that. So let's talk about the QMX real quick. Um, this was designed by Hans Summers. Uh, G0 Uniform Papa Lima. Um, the guy's well known to you, everyone who knows the history of the true SDX, the USDX, of course, does as, as we all uh, know the history of QRP Labs. The USDX was a derivative, or actually a modification, started as modification of the famous QCX. And um, I heard about QMX. By the way, I have all, I have QCX, I have uh, QDX, now QMX. Um, I support my friends. Um, I heard about that radio, I think it was even in a live stream with Guido, uh, where somebody asked me about the QMX. And uh, right after that stream, I looked it up and I immediately purchased one uh, kit, built it as yeah, it was one of the very first PCB revisions. That means there are still uh, some bugs on there that I didn't fix. Hans fixed them. Meanwhile, uh, released a few additional um, uh, revisions. It was announced as something that sounded pretty familiar to me. <laughs> uh, possibility to 
do SSB with it, uh, but Hans did not make a promise when this will happen. Uh, this will be a later firmware. It has a microphone on board. So basically, I think Hans was thinking of it as a upgraded true SDX, so to speak. Um, he put a better processor in there. Um, he changed a few um, hardware aspects. So in theory, at least you can generate more efficiently SSB, but in practice I haven't seen it yet. And that's the, the main issue here. Um, it was promised, um, going to tease you here Hans, as the QSX, but so far it's still just a promise. But what has been promised and has been done is AGC. If you remember the story or the history of USDX and my involvement in that, um, my whole reason to start with that project is I was missing the AGC of the QCX back then. And Guido had an alternative firmware that had AGC and digital sound processing and stuff like that. Because you need that, or at least I would prefer that in a CW application. And Hans promised a digital AGC for that and he released a firmware, I think in May, uh, that could do that. I uploaded it, um, did some adjustments and uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's really impressive what Hans does. Always when he, he is doing something, he's doing it the proper way because he implemented the AGC where you have every possible adjustment setting. I've never ever in my life seen uh, AGC that can be configured that deep. A any aspect of that can be configured. So that was a little bit overwhelming for me. And well, I just prefer fast, medium, slow. Uh, that's it. Um, but you can, you can adjust any, uh, every aspect of that AGC. So since I was overwhelmed, I just took the values that Hans was uh, referencing in his manual or not referencing, it was part of his screenshot. So I assumed that Hans would do some proper adjustments and took it and it worked. Okay, so um, we can probably try that today. I will probably try that here um, to activate it. I, I still like the form factor. I like the fact that we have a metal casing. Um, I like the display, all the stuff you don't like about the TrueSDX. Um, I like that. The thing is, we are still missing a speaker and internal battery. That would be so cool to have here. And just to mention that, I would be really happy if Hans would release a SSB firmware for that and that would actually um, supersede or succeed the true SDX, because uh, this is a great product, as always, when Hans designs something, this is always good. Okay, it, it has its drawbacks as well, you need to tell that as well, because of the uh, higher powered processor, um, we have a little bit, not, not a little bit, we have more power consumption, and in order to deal with that, he had to um, implement some kind of switching power supply that's uh, self-regulated, it's a, it's a crazy setup, but that also uh, made the most problems when building it. Um, just to come down to like double of the, double or triple of the standby current that the True SDX draws. Yet it is a solution capable for outdoors. Um, it's still low enough compared to like FT818, FT, FT817. Um, where was I? Yeah, I would love if uh, Hans's QMX would be a successor of the True SDX. Uh, if he would finally prove that his uh, method of SSB generation, um, it's not his, he just used stuff that was there as we did as well, um, would be, if, if it's superior, if he can improve SSB uh, 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 quality. If if he can prove that SSB quality is better with the QMX, I would I would love to see that, and I would be happy to see that. Uh, 
because as you might have guessed or as you might have seen um, there was not happening much in the true sdx development recently because guido and me we don't have time and motivation anymore to to develop any further so if somebody else is taking over this that segment i would be happy and hans deserved it because everything originated from hans and it would be full circle if he ended it or took over from here okay enough of the talking let's do some keying okay let's see if that works I hope you can hear that uh, because this thing has no speaker so I put my left headphone to my other wireless microphone now let's see Okay, I've packed everything together. Uh, wasn't too successful today. Um, probably because it's the last day of the ham radio in Friedrichshafen, the fair. And so everybody is still there or on the way home or <laughs> done with ham radio anyway for today, for this weekend. So I didn't have too much QSO partners. Um, but anyway, it doesn't matter because for me it was only an excuse to ride my bicycle again and uh, to show you the TrueSTX bike kit um, which has proven now uh, I think a third time for, my, for, for me that it's really easy to set up uh, and not very heavy to carry and when you have QSO partners you can make QSOs. I've, I've proven that I have uh, one QSO today only but that's okay. As I said uh, this was only an excuse to ride my bicycle to see some nice location and it's starting to rain anyway so I probably should drive home see you next time bye bye